Hi, this is Jimmy the Fontmeister, and today I'd like to talk with you a little bit about special effects fonts. Now, this is a question we get asked a lot, as a lot of people like to add special effects to their fonts, and there's a lot of ways to go about this. Um, a lot of times, it's not very satisfactory to go into your application and apply a shadow. It just doesn't seem to look right. And then also, if you were to take uh, a copy of a character like this and just move it down and to the right because of the nature of the paths and points in a font and the fills uh, and the transparency, you're going to find that that's not going to work at all. So I have an idea for you today, and I want to see if it uh, works for your project. So first of all, I'm going to do a Select All and go to the Element menu, Expand Stroke. Okay, now I'm going to take the outermost points, move them to the right and downward. Well, let me see if I can adjust the bottom of the stem here. It's going to kind of be. Uh, Beauty is in the eye of the beholder here. So, now let me do a preview on this. And I'll take the points off. And so you can kind of get the idea of what I'm talking about here. So, this was just an idea that uh, I'm passing on. It might work for you and it might not, but it's worth a try. So, let's move into something a little more complicated. Another question we get is. How can I keep the color from showing through my fonts? So here I am in Illustrator uh, showing you the, the top uh, row of zeros is created with a normal font. Uh, normal everyday fonts have a transparent fill. So you are always going to see the background. Now if you want to make a font that doesn't have a transparent fill, what you're going to have to do is to create a counter. Uh, the inside of a character here is called the counter. That comes from the uh, terminology of the path direction because the inside is counterclockwise in its uh, path direction. So what you'd have to do is go into Photographer and create a counter and then kern it on top of the existing character and nobody will know the difference. And so it will look just like uh, We've got it here in Illustrator. So now that we know what we're after for a what is known as an opaque counter font, let's go into Fontographer and create one, okay? Okay, now we're ready to talk about making an opaque counters font. There actually is a font called Opaque Counters that came with the Fontographer sample fonts. And if you need a copy of that font, just just send me a tech support email and request the opaque counters font and That'll kind of help you get started. Okay, so what I've done, I've kind of messed around with this font here and trying to make life easy. I have a regular zero here, and then I stole the counter out of it and put it in the slot for the number one. So what I'm going to do is press zero and then one. I'm going to kern them together, and this counter will appear on top of the other counter. Let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to type zero and then one. And as you can see, I've got them kerned on top of each other. When I go into an application now, all I need to do is kern these two characters together and then apply a white fill to the counter. So I will have the appearance of a font that is not transparent. We're talking about a typical request that we get where people want to see the white fill instead of the transparent fill showing the color in the background. Okay, so after I've got these two uh, characters current together, then all I need to do is generate the font and install it. Then we'll take a look in an application and see how it behaves. Okay, so I've opened this font up in freehand after I installed it. I type a zero, and then I'm going to change my fill to make sure that uh, I'll have a white fill for the next character that's going to be current, and I type the number one. Now you can see that they've kerned, but not perfectly. There's a little bit of red shown through. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to get the perfect kerning value there. So now you see that I have a uh, font with an opaque counter instead of the red showing through. Bada boo, bada bing. That's about all there is to it there. Comes up once in a while, but it's a nice little trick to know about. Thank you for watching the Photographer tutorial series. Uh, by the way, there is an opaque counters tech note if you want to go into great detail. If you go into the Photographer page at fontlab.com and you uh, select the Photographer tech notes, you'll find tech note number 3714, the opaque counters font. That should cover about any other questions that should come up. And finally, as always, let us know if there's some other topics you'd like to see covered in the Fontara Food Tutorial Series.